Yo, what is up, guys? This is Beast Root for Gaming, bringing you another episode of WWE 2K20 Universe Mode live from the B44 Multiplex. And tonight on Premium Pro Wrestling, live from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, we have a stacked match card for you. But to start it all off, we have Kevin Nash explaining to the whole world his actions last week against John Cena. So there he is, Kevin Nash, ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the ring. One half of the Outsiders attacked John Cena after his match against CM Punk. Whole world wants to know what the explanation is for his actions. We have been waiting for a week and it is time that we find out what is the reason he attacked Mr. Hustle Loyalty and Respect, John Cena. Surveying the crowd, getting a feel for what their response is going to be. Grabbing the microphone from the edge of the ring. Thank you. Thank you, studio person, staff. You know what I, you, you get it. So what does Kevin Nash have to say? First of all, I would like to make it clear that me and Scott Hall's actions last week were purely business and it was nothing personal against John Cena. Okay. We were told by a person who will remain anonymous to take out the winner of the match, and as you saw last week, we did. What sweetened the deal was the big sacks of cash that found their way into the trunk of my car, but that's beside the point. The NWO taking out Cena was, again, all business. So, it, it seemed like this was a business decision, but what, what, oh, John Cena, he wants, he wants to get a word in, what is this all about? crowd pouring up their love and affection for John Cena, the fan favorite for many years in WWE, now working in PPW. What is John Cena going to say in, in regards and in, in reaction to Kevin Nash's comments here? What does John Cena have to say? If you don't mind me asking, who is this person? Because I'm sure the WWE Universe and I would love to know. Was it Punk? Remember how he joined you and Scott after you jumped me? I think John Cena is a little... Un okay. That Waffle House fry cook had nothing to do with the attack last week. It was just me and Scott who were asked to take out the winner. If Punk would have won, he would have gotten what you did. S well, by the looks of it, you didn't finish the job. So how about you dare to finish it? Fight me right now, face to face, and let's see if you're worth as much as you got paid. John Cena challenging Kevin Nash to start off this night. Oh! And it looks like Kevin Nash is going to accept. Are we going to get it, ladies and gentlemen? Are we going to get our opening match? Kevin Nash versus John Cena. And by the looks of it, we got a referee down here. And this is going to be our opening match, ladies and gentlemen. John Cena versus Kevin Nash. Kevin Nash picks him up and slams him down. What has Kevin Nash got planned now? Oh, and stomping on the face of John Cena, getting the advantage early on, and picking him up by the neck, or face even. Going for the military press, slam! Oh my goodness, Kevin Nash just with the aggression here early on in the match. John Cena has no response to Kevin Nash yet in this match. Drags John Cena to the middle of the ring, what does he got planned now? Going for the pin, one, and John Cena kicks out at one. Kevin Nash planning his next move, turns him over, slamming his head repeatedly on the mat. Kevin Nash has been all offense here. John Cena, again, has had no response. Ooh, and needing John Cena right in the gut. John Cena needs to figure out how to reverse and fight back against Kevin Nash. Is he going for snake eyes? Yes, he does. John Cena finally getting some fight in. Irish whips him into the corner. What is John Cena going to do here? Turns him around. Sets him on the top rope. Is he going for a superplex? Is he going to go for a superplex? Is he going to hit, ladies and gentlemen? Oh! A suplex to Kevin Nash from John Cena. The absolute strength picking up the big man. Ooh, the accordion rack here. Going for a submission. Will Kevin Nash tap? No, he does not. And just hip tosses him. Kevin Nash might be going for the pin yet again. One. Still only a one count. John Cena not out of it yet. 
Ooh, knocking down John Cena. Just a reminder, ladies and gentlemen, this is live from the B44 Multiplex, live from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. This is Premium Pro Wrestling PPW. Showing the click there, Kevin Nash. Right now, we got Kevin Nash and John Cena after an, a heated opening promo. As Kevin Nash explained that the actions against John Cena last week were nothing personal, but John Cena feels that they were personal. What is Kevin Nash doing? Referee, get him off the ropes. Come on, man. Kevin Nash has a signature. Ooh, but John Cena got up. Is he going to go for a slam of his own? A side slam. And John Cena activates his comeback. Getting the crowd behind him. You can hear them chanting, Cena, Cena. I was him out of the ropes. Oh, he goes over. John Cena taunting. He's going for something here. Oh, what is this? And oh, a suplex. But John Cena low on energy. His damage is down too. His head has taken such a pounding. But he's making sure Kevin Nash gets the same thing. Ooh, and Kevin Nash with the clothesline out of nowhere. Ooh, just wrenching at the head of John Cena. Kevin Nash doing whatever it takes to make sure John Cena stays down. Picks him up by the head again. Oh, and a close... I was going to say a clothesline. A big boot from Kevin Nash. Is that enough? Two, three, and just like that, John Cena is finished. Kevin Nash, your winner of our opening match here on Premium Pro Wrestling. Oh my goodness, John Cena got absolutely pummeled in that match. Kevin Nash had all the answers for the longtime WWE veteran. He said it was nothing personal against John Cena, but that match might have made it personal. Kevin Nash showed pure aggression. A ruthless aggression, if you will, to quote a WWE pun. That was that was some intense stuff from Kevin Nash and John Cena just could not fight back enough and there you see Kevin Nash claiming that victory with pride proving that he is still the strong man in the wrestling universe but we have much more action on the match card ladies and gentlemen but still your winner to start off tonight's match card Kevin Nash Big Daddy Sexy Diesel. You guys you know what it is. We have much more to come tonight. That is just one taste of tonight's match card. Your next match will be the Rising Stars Talent Tournament between Morbid Angel from RWA Wrestling in the Midwest versus another former WWE talent, Ali. This is your upcoming match, ladies and gentlemen. Stay tuned. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And we will get to Morbid Angel versus Ali next. There he is, ladies and gentlemen, Morbid Angel, the former RWA heavyweight, ch heavyweight, heavyweight champion from the Midwest promotion from Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Morbid Angel making his PPW appearance, his first ever live televised appearance in professional wrestling, and he is looking to advance in this tournament against Ali. You saw last week that Nick Davidson advanced in the tournament against, or after defeating, I apologize for that, Cole Quinn. That was one match that happened, and we have a lot more matches to come in this Rising Stars talent competition. Who will be the winner of this competition and get guaranteed a contract? Because right now they are under temporary contracts. The moment they lose, they have they are just out of this competition. They are out of a permanent job. They need to win this. The finalists get guaranteed contracts. But it's the winner of this competition that gets paid. And now we have Ali. Again, the former WWE talent. Very underused. And oh, he's got no lights or anything. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I guess his lights don't work right now. We're having a little bit of a power outage. That's fine. 
All right. Very underutilized in WWE. That is why he came here to PPW, Premium Pro Wrestling, live from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, just so you know. To make a difference and make a name for himself in the wrestling world. And winning this competition would do exactly that. He already has the skill. He has the agility. He has the crowd behind him. But all he needs is a contract. And this tournament will give him that contract. Can he beat Morbid Angel? Can he beat all of his competition in this competition? And win the Rising Stars talent competition. That remains to be seen, ladies and gentlemen. You will have to wait right here. Stay tuned. And make sure you watch Premium Pro Wrestling every week. So that you know the latest on the wrestling news in PPW. Morbid Angel Ali. This match starts now. And Morbid Angel with a shoulder bump. Going right at it. Where's he going right now? Just attacking Ali straight out of the gate. What's he going for? He's going for a body slam. Oh my goodness. Just throwing Ali like he's a rag doll. And just pushes him. Look at how look at the strength of Morbid Angel. The pure size of him. Oh my goodness. Tonight's match card was set up by your general manager, Damon Knight, who we found out last week was our general manager. Recently having to retire because of a neck injury. Decided he still wanted to be part of the wrestling world. And he would be the general manager of Premium Pro Wrestling. And he is looking to make a difference in the wrestling business as well with a new type of matches. Like with new and improved wrestlers with new and improved wrestling concepts. And that's why we have this Rising Stars talent competition. He wants to find the best of the best. The young and hungry. He wants all of them. And Morbid Angel just absolutely dominate. He already has a signature. He could hit it in Ali. Oh no. He's going for it. Angle slam. He his signature. That could be that could be it for Ali. Ali could be out of it already. Two. Not even kicking out at two. Just kicks out at one. Morbid Angel can't believe it. He's calling for his, he's calling for his signature, or I apologize, he's calling for his finisher. Oh! He's going for the big punch, and Ali blocked it. Oh no! And now Ali is the one with the finisher. How you like me now, he says. What is this? Oh! Dropping him on his back and head. Going for an early pin. Only a one count for Ali here. I don't know why he's so confused about it. He has done barely any damage. I think he's used to fighting smaller competitors who have less fight in them. Usually they're out by now. Oh! And a super kick. And a tilt to world slam. Oh my goodness. Ali fighting back now. Kick to the side of the head. He's just waiting to use his finisher. He's waiting for the right time. Oh, and a super kick yet again. He's going to the top rope. Is he going to hit the finisher? 450 splash. Inverted 450. He hits it on Morbid Angel. And that could be it. One, two, three. No, Morbid Angel kicks out of the inverted 450. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Wow. Did not see that coming, ladies and gentlemen, in Siguri to Morbid Angel. Will Morbid Angel be able to fight back, or will Ali just keep running him down and advance in this competition? Who will win, Morbid Angel or Ali? Stay tuned to find out. And we are back here on PPW, ladies and gentlemen, and Morbid Angel with a solid gut punch to Ali as he rolls out of the ring. As you can see in the bottom left and bottom right corner, they have both taken a lot of damage here. It could be any moment before we have a winner in this match. And they take it to the outside of the ring. Referee counts to two already and the scoop is slam. I don't know why I call it a scoop slam. That is not what it is called. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. My brain is very fried. Going for the body slam. Ali has to be look at Morbid Angel. He has red head health, yellow body health. And for Ali, it's just the opposite. His body is that red. And his head is that yellow. Oh, no. Going for military. Press slam. Oh, but Ali got up right away. Right, right away. Right away. I need to learn English. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. Morbid Angel just tossing him around. He gets to eight. Morbid Angel, if he was smart here, he'd go for the count out. They're at nine. 
Why would you do that, Morbid Angel? Morbid Angel almost had this match won. He was at count nine. I believe that is what he's at. Oh, <laughs> kind of got caught up in the ropes there. Okay, what what are they doing? They're keeping it on the outside of the ring. Oh, scratching the back. Very aggressively as he throws him into the stairs. This is anyone's match at this point. Who will advance in this competition? Both of them are fighting furiously to advance in this competition. Orban Angel right now has the advantage. Throws him away as he falls down just near the steps. Oh, and throws Ali right into the steps yet again. He's at seven. What is he going to do now? And now Morbid Angel is the one being thrown into the steps. Ali, you could win via count out. You just need to keep him down. Keep him down. There you go. Ali. He's at count nine. Ali, what are you doing? <laughs> Twice we've been at count nine. And they haven't stayed in the ring. Or, in fact, they haven't... The first time Morbid Angel threw Ali back into the ring at count nine. And then Ali left the ring at count nine. Neither of them wants to win by count out. They want to make sure that the other is completely knocked out. But now both of them have finishers. So it could be any moment before any of them is knocked out. What is this? Oh, and he's choking him. Lifts him up by the neck and is choking him. Ali cannot breathe. The referee is asking him if he can breathe. Oh, and he fights out of it. What is he doing here? Ali with a forearm. What is this? And drops him yet again. Dragging him to the middle of the ring. Going for the pin here. Is Morbid Angel out of it? One. Two. No. Still kicks out of two. This is a very, very high match. High quality match here, ladies and gentlemen. Both competitors refusing to quit. Ooh. Tilt World Slam there. Oh, Morbid Angel. Ooh. He's going for another gut punch there. Ali, why... Wireless whips. I am sorry. I apologize for my English in advance. I might sound like I'm drunk, but I swear I am not. I just cannot speak English. Go for another military press. Slam, and he does. The crowd is 100% behind him. These are both fan favorites here. Oh! Ref, I don't believe the ref's doing his job. He's supposed to get him out of the corner. Now both of them have signatures, too. Oh, he turns him around. Oh, now Ali has three finishers. He went for his signature. Oh! Kick to the back of Morbid Angel. Is that enough? One. Two. Morbid Angel still kicks out at two. I believe it when I say even if Morbid Angel loses this match, Damon Knight will take notice that this guy can wrestle and will consider that in his future contract obligations. As well as Ali. If Ali ends up not winning this match, he is his finisher. Why? He's not going for the pin. What is he doing? Gets him in the corner. If Ali were to lose this match, Ali would almost definitely have a contract. These two can wrestle, and this is what we need here on PPW Premium Pro Wrestling. Again, ladies and gentlemen, I am your ho host, ho hog commentator. I suck at English. I am your commentator, Beast 44 Gaming. We are live from the B44 Multiplex, live in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. As we have Ali and Morbid Angel wrestling to see who advances in the Rising Stars competition. Are we going to the top rope? Will he hit his finisher, the inverted 450? He turns around. Is he going to hit it? Yes, he does. And that might be it for Morbid Angel. One, two, three. And now we is your winner in today's match. What a match that was. Oh, my goodness. That might be your match of the week, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know down in the comments, should we start a match of the week competition where you guys can vote in the comments about what match was your favorite from this week's episode? Or at least from this episode. I don't believe this will be a weekly thing. This will be more of a every other day thing. I'm trying to get these videos up as much as I can. They just take a while to edit. That is why. That is also why we're not doing a face cam today because it's just a lot more to edit. So I apologize for that in advance if you wanted to see my beautiful face. So Ali with the victory after hitting not one, but two inverted 450s. As you can see in the replay here, this was a very hard-fought match by both sides. Neither guy ref refusing to quit. Or neither guy willing to quit. I should, wow, I really suck at English. I thought I was better than this. 
And Ali soaking in the victory as the crowd is behind him. He will advance to face Nick Davidson next week in the Rising Stars Town Competition semifinals. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. Well, that was a hard-fought match. We have John Cena and Kevin Nash, and then we had Ali versus Morbid Angel. We have so much more in the match card. Up next, here on PPW, we have another Rising Stars qualifying match. We have Johnny Gargano against El Mago Jr. This is only on PPW. Stay tuned for what is next. And you can see Johnny Gargano in the ring, and there is El Mago Jr., Wrestling on the independent circuit, we have many former WWE competitors, but El Mago Jr., a former student of the Riley Flash Wrestling Academy, where a certain WWE duo used to wrestle. We have tried to pursue them, but we have not found them yet. I have not agreed on a contract. We will try to get them as soon as possible. So we have El Mago Jr. against Johnny Gargano. This is... All right, we got another Rising Stars talent competition here. Johnny Gargano, El Mago Jr. These seem like two fairly matched opponents. El Mago Jr. driving him into the corner. Referee, get him out of the corner, man. Come on. Oh, and Johnny Gargano with a slap to the face. El Mago Jr. not having it. Johnny Gargano with a suplex here. Oh, my goodness. And going with the hurricane run out of nowhere. Oh my god, Jr. has had no response. Gets out of the way there, but John Gargano gets right back. Oh! Drop kick to the back of the head, or neck area, actually. He looked like he was holding his neck. What is he going for here? Oh! I don't even know what to call that. I probably should, though. And Johnny Gargano using his ring prowess. What are all these moves? He's going for a submission. Will Mago Jr. tap? No, he fights out of it and pushes Johnny Gargano away with his legs. Johnny Gargano was a little shook there. Mago Jr. taking advantage, but no, he bumps into him, and now Johnny Gargano taking advantage. Oh! Tossing him back like he's a piece of trash, getting the crowd behind him. Only on PPW can you find wrestling like this, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you drop that like button. Or drop that like button. Drop a comment and hit that like button. I just suck at English and phrasing. I, I know I keep saying it, but it's true. Oh, and El Mago Jr. with an opportunity to take advantage right now. Bring him to the corner. What has he got planned here? Throwing him out of the way. Oh, slapping him on the chest. Look at the agility of El Mago Jr. John Gargano can't believe it. Can Omago Jr. be the underdog in this match? And going for a suplex of his own. Going for the pin now. One. Not even a one count. Wow. John Gargano not as damaged as he thought, but a Hurricane Rana of his own too. My goodness. Oh, and an Instaguri to John Gargano. And he looks to be out. Omago Jr. Finally getting some offense in. Coup de gras to the chest of Johnny Gargano. And another Hurricane Rana. Oh my goodness, Johnny Gargano rolling out of the ring. He needs a moment to catch his breath. El Mago Jr. Proving that Johnny Gargano underestimated him. Turns him around. Throwing him down. Is he going for... He's stealing Johnny Gargano's moves. Will Johnny Gargano tap? No, he fights out of it too. Johnny Gargano... Can he get it back here? Oh, no. What he's going for here? Oh! That was his signature. We need to hit his finisher. He's going for the finisher now. What is it? The Gargano lock? I forget. But a rope break is called. But you can see already El Mago Jr. taking so much damage. He might not be able to fight for long. And he gets spun around with a super kick. Johnny Gargano could win the match right now. On a frog splash. He goes for the pin. One, two, no. Oh, <laughs> see, arm kind of, arm kind of get a little glitchy there. Oh, Mako Jr. is not out of it. Oh, again, throws him back. 
Oh my goodness. Another suplex. Johnny Gargano has the crowd behind him yet again. Omago Jr. has very little answer. Oh my goodness. And goes him down. And another drop kick to the back of the neck. Johnny Gargano now has a signature. Turns him around. And throws him down again. That could be it. I think Omago Jr. is done here. One. Two, three, and Johnny Gargano advances in the Rising Stars talent competition. Oh my goodness. Omago Jr. put up a good fight towards the end. But Johnny Gargano is your ultimate victor in today's match. What a match it was. Let's be honest there. Johnny Gargano put up a great fight. Omago Jr. was no slouch either. He put up some great moves. He he had Johnny Gargano rolling out of the rain needing to catch his breath for a while there. But he could not put up enough offense to get Johnny Gargano in a moment of vulnerability. And because of that, Johnny Gargano is your winner in today's match. Again, he will advance to the semifinals in the Rising Stars talent competition. There you go. Mr. Johnny Wrestling. Crowd loving him. He is hyped up. You can see the veins popping out of his arms. What a match that was. Three great matches to start off tonight's match card, but we are only halfway there, ladies and gentlemen. Up next, we have Edge and Christian, the formidable tag team for WWE for almost 15 years, I believe. Or they were in WWE for about 15 years, roughly. We have them. Oh, the, a rivalry. Johnny Gargano, oh, Mago Jr. wasn't happy about losing to Johnny Gargano. Wow, we're going to have to stay tuned for that. But anyways, Edge and Christian, the tag team, they are going up against the old tag team of Batista and Rey Mysterio. So this is going to be a great match. Make sure you stay tuned here on PPW. We are back here, ladies and gentlemen. Edge and Christian are now making their way to the ring. I forgot to give them. I forgot. I keep forgetting to edit these new teams' entrances. I gotta start working on that. But regardless, we have Edge and Christian right here for you, ready to take on Batista and Rey Mysterio. Again, this can only be from PPW. This is Premium Pro Wrestling. I am your commentator, Beast Ray Four Gaming. We are live from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, at the Beast Ray Four, or I, I apologize, B Forty Four Multiplex. Your first three matches of the night were Kevin Nash and John Cena. Kevin Nash won that bout. And then we had Morbid Angel. I, I apologize. This this match just happened. We're gonna I think we're gonna skip this entrance. Yeah, we're, we're, we're skipping this. We had Morbid Angel and Ali. Ali won that to advance to the semifinal round of the uh, Rising Stars Town competition. And then just before we had Johnny Gargano and El Mago Jr. Johnny, Johnny Gargano won that one to advance to the Rising Star. Town competition. So here we have Edge and Christian, Batista Rey Mysterio, and it begins now. Edge, Northern Light Suplex, right away to Batista. Picking him up, bring him right down the knee, gut first. Trying to reach Rey Mysterio, picking him up on his shoulders. What has Edge got planned here? Oh, and dropping him right down on his face and front. <laughs> I really need to pick better phrasing. And Christian getting out of the way. What is Batista got planned here? He's got snake eyes to Edge. That neck is a sensitive area for Edge. So you will have to believe that Batista has that place targeted already. But Edge, Irish whips Batista into the corner. Puts him on the top rope. What has he got planned here? Puts his feet on the outside. What's going on here? Is he going for a superplex? He indeed does. Oh my goodness. Both men feeling the brunt of that. Rey Mysterio calling for it. Oh, he rolls out of the way. And Batista with a punch to the face. Our swips him in the Rey's corner. Got first. Is he going to tag in Rey Mysterio? No, he's not. 
and just tosses him across the ring. Christian calling out for Edge, but Edge is blocked by Batista. Now Batista Irish whips him back into Ray's corner. Is he going to tag in Ray for a double team? No, just keeps attacking Edge. But he's going to toss him right back into that corner where Christian can call out for the tag. But Batista runs over there making sure Edge cannot tag in. Going for the pin on Edge. One. And only kicks out at a brief one. Edge is not done yet. And oh my goodness. Almost taking out the referee with that. Oh my god. Batista has him up on his shoulders. What's he got planned here? And rolling onto him. Knocking the wind out of Edge. But he tags in Christian with the hot tag. And now Christian with the spinning elbow. He tries to go for a grapple move there, but Batista, with the strength and body advantage, fights him off, picks him up by the neck. What is he doing here? Oh, and slams him his neck, hitting the bottom rope. He may have a concussion. He may be concussed. Edge still recovering on the outside. Is he going to do the same thing again? And his head hitting the bottom rope. That cannot be good for Christian, but he fights back with an uppercut. Oh, my goodness. And a drop kick to Batista. Edge and Christian versus Batista and Rey Mysterio. Both teams have the advantage. Rey Mysterio has yet to see in-ring action. He's had the opportunity to. He's dragging him into the corner. Could this be Rey's moment? Yes, he tags in Rey. Wizzy got planned here. Rey going to the top. And a chop to the arm. And Rey Mysterio with a suplex to Christian. He's going for another one. Suplex number two. Is he going to hit three? Is he going to hit three, ladies and gentlemen? Yes, he does. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and a, what was that? A spinning drop kick? Takes out Christian. Is he going to go for the pin here? Yes, he does. Is Christian going to be out of it? One. Not even a two count. I don't know what Ray thought was going to happen there, but Christian's getting up right away, and he doesn't realize it. But Ray has a Ray has a signature. Oh, he takes out the ref. The referee is knocked out. Oh, we saw this from El Mago Jr. What is Ray going to do? And a drop kick. Oh, but Edge calling for it. The hot tag. And Christian gets there while Ray taunts an Edge. Oh, he goes for the clothesline. And Ray. Spinning heel kick. Oh, but Edge fighting back here. Picks him up. Oh, but Ray with the agility and a, what is that, a bull, running bulldog? I forget what that's called. I apologize for that. Oh, execution, I believe that is called. I forget what it's called. I believe that. Flatline, edge line, edge of the line. I don't know. One, two, no. Ray Mysterio has barely taken any damage. If you look at his, he's the only one left in the green. Oh, Ray might have been going for the, for the 619 there. He might have been trying to get him in a vulnerable spot. What has Edge got playing here? He's got him up on his shoulders. Flatline. And Ray trying to catch his breath now. Edge with a finisher. Both men with a finisher, actually. Oh, I thought he was going to go for the spear there. What is this? Oh, and the Bulldog. Going for the pin, but Ray might not be out of it. One. Only a one count. And Edge can't believe it, but now Ray is getting up. Ray could go for the 619 if he wants to right here. No, he misses the Enziguri. He misses the Enziguri on edge. Oh, and a big boot. And now choking the life out of Ray Mysterio. Oh, my goodness. And then forearm. Which man will hit a signature first? Or I, I apologize, a finisher. Christian with a signature now as he is tagged in. You can see the chemistry with Edge and Christian being more utilized than Batista and Rey Mysterio. Is he going to flatline him here? Yes, he is. Oh, but Rey Mysterio got up right away. Oh, and a DDT. Could we see a 619 here? Christian already in the red. Oh, my goodness. Edge not coming in to break it up. Oh, it's because he only kicks out at one. Now, again, both men with a finisher. Could he go for the kill switch? Oh, no, he doesn't. He uses one of Edge's old moves. Is he going to hit the kill switch now? He could go for it. No. He does not go for the kill switch. But Ray fights him off. Irish whips him. Oh, and drops him back again. Almost taking out the referee yet again. 
Are we gonna see it? No, we are not. We are not going to see us. Just we are. I, I need to learn English. Are we gonna see it? Oh, is he going for a spear? Are we gonna see a spear from Christian? Yes, we see a spear. Oh my goodness. One, two, three. No! Batista just barely breaks it up. We have pandemonium in the ring right now. Who will take advantage and win this match? Find out when we come back from commercial live. Here we are, PPW. We are back, ladies and gentlemen. Edge picking up Rey Mysterio. The action has been heavy here. He hits his signature. Going for the pin. This could be the end of the match. One, two, and yet again, Batista breaks up the pin. What does Edge got planned now? Oh, and he hits the spear on Rey. He's going for the pin yet again. Batista can't make his way up. One, two, three. And just like that, Edge and Christian are your winners. Batista was too fatigued after being attacked by Christian in order to give Edge the victory. Oh, my goodness. What a tag match tonight from PPW. We had Edge and Christian, Batista, and Rey Mysterio. And Batista and Rey Mysterio could not work together well enough. To pull off the victory, Edge and Christian are your winners. Oh my goodness. From commercial break, I apologize. We couldn't show you that Edge, or I apologize. Rey Mysterio, I don't know how I messed that up. That Rey Mysterio hit a 619, but was unable to get a victory. And then as you saw when we came back, Edge hit a spear to put away Rey Mysterio. The two best friends for years. Now making it in WWE. Left WWE. And are now in PPW to just cement their legacy even more in the wrestling world. They pull off the victory here tonight. Like I keep saying after every match, we have a stacked match card tonight. But your next match is actually for a championship. As you know, last week there was a battle royal between six women. The top two would be put in the championship match. But the winner would get to decide when it happened and the stipulation. And Anaya won the stipulation battle royal as she eliminated Beth Phoenix. And so your next match is a ladder match for the PPW Women's Championship between Beth Phoenix and Anaya. If you're not familiar with the ladder match, the way this works is the championship belt will be hanging above the ring. And the only way you can get it is to climb a ladder and unhook it. And whoever unhooks the belt from the brass ring will be your new champion. You're actually your inaugural PPW Women's Champion. So who will it be? Beth Phoenix or Anaya? Who will be the first ever PPW Women's Champion? Find out right now on PPW. Here we are, Beth Phoenix, Anaya, all four, the PPW Women's Championship hanging above the ring of Beth Phoenix. Getting off to a start early, dragging her to the cross the ring. What is she doing here? Takes her down to the ground. Oh no. Oh! Chest first into the bottom rope. Her chest has to be on fire right now. Flipping her over. Kicking her down the back. And Beth Phoenix just going to town right now. Making sure Anaya cannot have an opportunity to breathe. A slap across the chest. What is she going for here now? Are we going for a powerbomb? Oh no, not even a powerbomb. Oh, I was going to say a buckle bomb. But, oh, going face first. Or I should say forehead first. Into the top, top turnbuckle. I sorry, I, I blanked on the word there. I apologize. I'm human. Just the pure strength of Beth Phoenix. Oh my goodness. Just stimulating the spine on fire, knocking her down. Beth Phoenix still totally green, while Anaya just hit yellow. Anaya not in a good spot here. Oh my goodness. But then again, this cannot be won by pinfall or submission or knockout. You need to climb the ladder and grab the championship before your opponent does. So regardless of how much she beats up Anaya, she will need to climb that ladder and take down the championship. Oh, and now Anaya throwing her across the ring. She has some pure strength too. Irish Whip, no, takes her down with the... Taking out of her leg. I need to work on my English. I'll, I'll work on my phrasing. <laughs> I got I to gotta start working on that. Oh, and a kick to the back. 
Anaya twisting the arm, but no, a punch to the face. Beth Phoenix is having none of that. But Anaya Irish whips her into the corner. Oh, and a kick to the side. Kick to the to the rib cage. And now stomping on her on the ground with her heels. Oh! My goodness. Picking her up. Oh, no, Beth Phoenix gets out of the way. Picking her up here. What's she doing? And drops her down. Anaya rolls out of the ring. But perhaps that's a smart thing. She could go for a ladder here. Now both of them are on the outside. But remember, there are no countouts. There are no submissions. There are no pinfalls. There are no knockouts. You need to climb a ladder and get the championship. Now Anaya, I believe she's going for a ladder here. Yes, she is. Can Anaya become the first ever PPW Women's Champion? Can she climb the ladder and become victorious? Ooh. Flip her over here. Ooh, kick to the back. Oh, now Beth Phoenix getting up right away. Oh, and a punch to the face. Gonna drag her along here. Getting her over to the ropes again. Is she gonna do the same thing she did before? Yes, she is. She's gonna catapult her into the bottom rope. Oh, my God. The pain Anaya must be feeling. But what is Beth Phoenix doing now? She just... <laughs> She just did a lap around the ladder. <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm sorry. I find that very funny. But now she might be doing the smart thing. And Irish whips Anaya out of the ring. As she goes up to get the PPW Women's Championship. Hanging above the ring. What is she doing here? What, what is happening? Oh. What is that? What is this? Oh, why is it doing that? She's already got one in this minigame. She's got two in this minigame. Three. Oh, almost gets four. She's got four now. She's got halfway there. What's Anaya going to do here? Can she stop her? She's got five. Beth Phoenix can get it. No, she does not. Oh, what is she doing? Is she going to power bomb her? Yes, she does. Oh, and Anaya's got a signature. And now, Anaya might be Irish whipping her out of the ring, but she taunts. She needs to get her out of the ring, and she knocks her off. This is... Wait, what is Anaya doing? <laughs> I was going to say, she's... This is her chance. Can't she become the first ever PPW Women's Champion? Beth Phoenix getting up now, but she only needs to get three. She only needs to get three. She's got two. She needs two more. Can Anaya do it? She needs one more. Will she become the first ever champion? She's almost there. No, she just misses it. And she gets it. Anaya is your first ever Women's PPW Champion. She wins the ladder match against Beth Phoenix, defying... All of the odds. Beth Phoenix went into last week with the expectation that she was going to be the winner. She was the expected winner. She was a projected winner. She almost was the winner. But guess who took her out last week? Anaya. And guess who takes her out this week? Anaya. And Anaya is your first ever PPW Women's Champion. Look at her with the championship there. She cannot believe it. Congratulations to Anaya. She is your first ever PPW Women's Champion. And now we just have one more match left on the match card. As you know, last week Shawn Michaels was taken out and Triple H had to wrestle with Hulk Hogan. But regardless, the Rock and Sock connection won last week. Well, this week Shawn Michaels wants a taste of both of them. As your main event is Shawn Michaels versus Rock and Sock connection in a handicap match. Here we are, Shawn Michaels, HBK, and the Rock and Sock connection handicap match main event here on PPW starts now. And the Rock going right away for Sean's legs, but Sean fights back out of it. Ooh. The Rock throwing him over his shoulder. Throws him into the corner, and he comes out. Oh, I am struggling to keep up here. Elbow to the back of the head from Shawn Michaels. And a slap across the chest knocks down The Rock. Ooh, and Insiguri. HBK bringing the fight here early on. Oh my goodness. Attacking the arm of The Rock. Shawn Michaels trying to get his revenge for last week's attack on him. We still don't even know why Rock and Sock Connection did it to him. But he is furious nonetheless and he wants to get his revenge. Elbow drop to the chest of The Rock. Shawn Michaels has the advantage early on. And takes him down. Neck breaker. Mick Foley calling for the tag, but he was not able to get it. Goes for the drop kick, but The Rock blocks it. Has him in headlock, elbow to the back of the head. Twisting him around, going for a neck breaker yet again.
again. And he hits it. Rock not going for the tag here. Decides to go after Shawn Michaels yet again. Dragging him over to the corner. Going for the double team here. Tags in Mankind. I was going to say Mick Foley. Ooh, and a punch to the gut. Oh, my goodness. What has Mick Foley got planned here? Getting him to the other corner. Gut punch and a kick to the gut, too. Just attacking him while he's on the ground. Shawn Michaels, helpless. Was it, what was that? A baseball slide into the leg? I believe that's what that looked like. Going for the pin. Is Shawn Michaels out of it already? One. No. Shawn Michaels not out of it. Shawn Michaels fighting back here. He has a signature. Oh, attacking the arm. Irish whips Mankind. Oh, and the spinning elbow from Shawn Michaels. The heartbreak kid, Mr. WrestleMania. Again, another former WWE legend trying to make it here in PPW Premium Pro Wrestling. We are live from Milwaukee. I am your commentator of Beast Ray Ford Gaming. This is your main event for those of you just tuning in now. After last week's attack, Shawn Michaels wanted his revenge on both Mankind and The Rock. He didn't just want to take a one-on-one. -on -one. He decided that he would... He went to Damon Knight. He said, I want to take these two on, and Damon Knight gave him the match. And now we have our main event as the two-on-one handicap match between Shawn Michaels and The Rock and Sock Connection. Mankind with the adventure, but no! Shawn Michaels fights back. Takes him down, and knee to the arm. Will he hit the super kick here? Will he hit sweet chin music? But no. Mankind rolls out of the ring. But Shawn Michaels... Oh, no, he can't lift him. No. Oh, my goodness. Mankind was too heavy for Shawn Michaels to lift. What is he going for here? Butterfly DDT. Oh, that wasn't a signature? I thought that was. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, what is The Rock doing? The Rock not letting Mankind tag out here. What is The Rock doing? No. Shawn Michaels Irish whips him into the corner. Gets him down on the ground. Now Shawn Michaels has the advantage here. Is he going to be able to bring up? Yes, he is in a power bomb. Not going to go for the pin, though. Are we going to see a sweet chin music from Shawn Michaels? No, not yet. Wait, are we going to see a sharpshooter here? He's going for the sharpshooter. He has it locked in. Oh, but what is... The Rock, ooh, and a drop kick to Shawn Michaels breaks up the sharpshooter, but Shawn Michaels now has two finishers and could easily finish off Mankind. But the thing is, he has The Rock in his corner to break up the pin. Are we going to see it? Sweet chin music! Will this be it? One, two, no! Mankind kicks out of it. The Rock was a little delayed there in getting up. If Mankind wouldn't have kicked out, this match would have been over. Because The Rock was nowhere near the pin to break it up. But now Shawn Michaels trying to get to him again. And a quick DDT. Shawn Michaels bragging in the corner. But that bragging could let him tag in The Rock. Oh, wait. It looked like he missed it, but the ref didn't notice. I don't think Rock's technically the legal man. Oh, and stopping away on the chest. Going for the pin. Shawn Michaels has taken a lot of damage. One. But only kicks out at one. And he quickly gets up. He has that finisher if he takes out the rock right now. Oh no, he misses his opportunity. And the sharp spine sharpshooter. Spine buster. One. Two. No. Kicking out at two. Shawn Michaels tried to grapple him, but he missed. And the rock took advantage. But now Shawn Michaels fighting back here. Mick Foley's on the rope, though. Mankind is on the rope. What's Rock got planned here? And a Samoan drop. Ooh, a kick up too. Is he mocking the heartbreak kid? Ooh, and he knocks him down. Are we going to see Rock bottom here? No. Russian leg sweep. Could we see a people's elbow or a Rock bottom? Are we going to see Rock bottom? Yes, he hits the Rock bottom. Shawn Michaels might be done. Oh, my goodness. One, two, Three. No! Shawn Michaels kicks out of it. Shawn Michaels kicks out of the rock bottom. I don't think The Rock can believe it. Ooh, going for the spinning elbow. 
Shawn Michaels has two finishers. Yet again, he could take out the rock right now, but he misses. He misses his opportunity. No, now he goes for the Russian leg sweep. If he can take advantage here and lay a sweet chin music on the rock here, I think he might be going for it. No. What is he doing here? If he can lay sweet chin music onto the rock and knock Mick Foley off the apron, he would have an opportunity to win this match. Why is he not going for sweet chin music and a chest? Ooh, what is he going here? The accordion rack. Mick Foley coming in there. The rock fighting out of it. Where's the rock got planned here? He's got he's gonna go for a spine buster. He can go for it. Oh! Ooh! Shawn Michaels reverses the spine buster. Now he has a signature of his own. But The Rock has a comeback. He could use it at any moment. Shawn Michaels just standing there catching his breath. What is he doing now? He's just taunting. Ooh, The Rock gets out of the way. Shawn Michaels does nothing. Ooh, and he goes for the DDT. But Shawn Michaels kicks up right away. And again, another DDT, but this time Shawn Michaels does not kip up. Oh my goodness. Picking him up. He's going to go for the Spine Buster yet again. And he hits it this time. Are we going to see People's Elbow? No, he goes straight for the pin. Could this be enough? He has no one to break up the pin. One, two, three, and just like that, the Rock and Sock Connection are your winners for tonight's main event here on Premium Pro Wrestling. Shawn Michaels almost had it, but he had no one in his quarter to help him out. That is the thing with these handicap matches. You are always at a disadvantage if you are the solo competitor or if you are the man down. And this time, Shawn Michaels wasn't quick enough to beat the Rock and Sock Connection, just kicking out at two there. He reversed his spine buster. He had an opportunity, but the Rock hit it yet again. And that was it for Shawn Michaels and the Rock and Sock Connection are your winners tonight here on premium pro wrestling oh my goodness this is a mismatch duo here in ppw the former wwf tag team back when it was the wwf but now it's the wwe savoring the victory here tonight ladies and gentlemen your winners for tonight's main event look at the happiness on mankind's face that man just loves to wrestle in the rock. Giving him a nod of appreciation. And that will be it for tonight's match card. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am your commentator, Beast Ray for Gaming. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the WWE 2K20 Universe Mode show that is Premium Pro Wrestling. Live from Milwaukee, Wisconsin in the B44 Multiplex. If you guys liked it, make sure to give it a like. Drop a comment down in the comment section. And make sure you subscribe and turn on those post notifications so you know when and what I am posting. Episode number three will be up very soon, as soon as I can get that edited. These do take a long time to edit. They are 50-minute episodes, and then I have to do commenta commentary. I have to edit. It, it's just, it takes a while, so I apologize if there's a delay in the uploading. But regardless, thank you guys so much for watching. And this is Beast Free Gaming, signing out of WWE 2K20 Universe Mode, here on PPW Premium Pro Wrestling.